New York is the city that never sleeps and always on the move. <coughs> the MTA moves people into and out of the suburbs and within the five boroughs in a safe, reliable manner. We have embarked on a transformation with an intelligent nervous system comprised of our enterprise asset management with GIS, which enables data being a means by which our organization knows itself better through a compendium of real-time, linear sensors, analytics, and BIM. The virtual train tracking system is a web-based application developed using ArcGIS JavaScript. It displays, it displays train movements in real time. Through advanced cartographics, we are able to see train movement in real time, as well as relevant train car information, such as train car composition or consist, and crew information. Flexibility to go from a traditional cartographic view to a dynamic schematic is a key aspect of our internal operations. And we are developing straight line diagrams to see train movement in an easier fashion, a view that is very familiar to our users. Our trains are everywhere, above and below ground. And here with that part of our story is Jim. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Mapping has been an important part of the New York City subway for over a century. The current version of our iconic service map has served as a gateway to the riding public providing service information for over 40 years. Its Manhattan North orientation provides a visual familiarity that's hard to shake. Through GIS, we have started to modernize the way we view our system but old habits die hard. And through the use of custom projections in ArcGIS Pro, we were able to take the unfamiliar and make it familiar again. The New York City subway system has 665 miles of mainline track. It operates 24-7, 365, and moves over 5.5 million customers a day. Two-thirds of the system is located underground where GPS is not available. We overcame this challenge through a linear referencing system that utilizes unique route IDs and measures along our tracks. Here, in the heart of the financial district, is Fulton Center, where nine subway lines converge on five stations born out of the IND, BMT, and IRT systems, now referred to as divisions. Unique route IDs differentiate our many tracks seen here, while measures identify the exact location on the tracks. With these routes and measures, we are able to easily identify where our assets are located without the use of GPS. Feature classes for our assets are not edited manually, but rather created directly out of the asset management system. The asset management databases store the values for root IDs and measures and associates them to work orders and defects created within that system. Using custom event modeling procedures, we dynamically display these events on our right-of-way as the information is created out of the asset management system in near real time. The asset management system is our GIS event editor. One example where GIS can have a great impact is in the coordination of work throughout our system. In a system that never shuts down, track access is a valuable resource, not to mention expensive. Identifying potential outages and opportunities for work at these outages maximizes our ability to provide much needed corrective maintenance. Today, my colleagues identify these opportunities by sifting through stacks of paper and often identify the location of the outages by highlighting them on schematic diagrams, a process that can take hours, even days. Along with my colleagues, Dr. Don and Simon, our small team has leveraged the power of Web App Builder to create a work planning application. Through the app, we can identify planned track outages represented by the linear features seen here and filter for any number of outage types using the custom filters. In this scenario, 
I will select only contractor-owned outages. Now that we've selected the type of outage, we can overlay up-to-date work orders dynamically out of the asset management system. Through an additional set of filters, I can choose to select only approved work orders, since these have the highest probability of being scheduled in the upcoming week's outage. I'll then perform a spatial join to identify where the work orders fall within planned outages, effectively transforming days and weeks' worth of work into just seconds. This is just one example of how GIS and asset management are helping to move New York City Transit fast forward. In our journey to see and understand our assets in a more meaningful way, BIM and other virtual design construction workflows have helped us greatly. BIM standards have been developed at the MTA in order to ensure we get the most possible value out of our BIM investments. MTA Bridges and Tunnels have made major strides in implementing BIM. The Marine Parkway Bridge is a lift bridge connecting Brooklyn to the Rockaway section of Queens. Replacing equipment at the top of, this, of these lift bridges requires very careful planning and construction sequencing. Three Revit models are imported to a geo database. But the toll plaza is a new workflow using the new building scene layers. And that's it. The web scene viewer recognizes them automatically when they are loaded. One source, many ways of looking at it. Our customers travel on buses too. With roughly 6,000 buses serviced in 30 depots, managing all these assets is a mission critical imperative. It is critical that we can rack and stack our buses to meet all of our operational and maintenance needs. Just two weeks ago, a team from the MTA, along with BIM contractor the Lero Group, performed a reality capture scan. Many of the information elements in the BIM model assist us with our space allocation challenges. BIM for construction is great. BIM for construction, indoor mapping, and enterprise asset management is even better. Ultimately, organizational improvement. How do you support an organization with over 70,000 employees? How do you take it to scale? How do you satisfy the needs of the multiple agencies? Our answer is in four parts. First, the geospatial infrastructure. A foundational system and the, and the backbone that powers and delivers geospatial capabilities to our users. It is also our source of truth for location data, services, and applications. Using enterprise sites, we've designed a platform that focuses on the user experience while promoting authoritative data. Second is education. How do you communicate to the wide range of users about the capabilities and the benefits of GIS? Using story maps, we have designed a platform where it helps users learn about our portal, how to get started, and understand the roles and responsibilities. The third is data. Everyone here knows how important data is. Our biggest challenge was to consolidate data from multiple sources into one single repository. We have categorized hundreds of data sets into 12 different themes, added tags, metadata, and have made them discoverable and downloadable throughout platform. Organizations can no longer avoid standardization. Without proper governance and standards, we cannot realize the benefits. So we are collaborating with the agencies to create consistent standards across the board. Finally, how does all this magic happen behind the scenes? How do you propagate GIS information across highly available environments? 
our answer is automation. We are exploring the concept of DevOps and continuous integration within GIS. Using tools like GitLab, Jenkins, Python, and Workflow Manager, we are automating the, our GIS environment. MTA manages over a trillion dollars worth of assets and serves 15 million users. GIS and EAM are together helping us transform the oldest, the largest asset intensive organization in North America. From the railroads to the underground subways and to the bridges and tunnels, MTA is the transportation nervous system of the region. So when you visit us next, please stand clear of the closing doors and <laughs> hope to see you on board. Thank you.